necessity breeds invention. I had spent about 18 months working full time to ensure that as many people in Australia knew that my brother was missing. And that's what I really want to try and emulate for every other family that's in that awful predicament. Providing practical support to families of long-term missing Australians. This is absolutely my purpose. That's why I allow it to be my 24-7. Every 14 minutes in Australia, someone's reported missing. So Missing Persons Week is an amazing opportunity to have this issue put front and centre. Hello. Hello. How are you going? Good. We'll be this year rolling out the coffee cups into Melbourne's top 20 cafes. How many designs do we have? We've got six designs and we've ordered 100,000 of them. Oh, wow. <laughs> People are sitting down and they're drinking their coffee and they go, hang on a minute, what's this about? And they start reading. I mean, they would never originally look at this and go, this is going to be about a missing person. The whole premise of MPAN was the Missing Persons Guide website. Having the contact databases for all of the hospitals and homelessness services and media outlets. Dan went missing on the 15th of July 2011. There's no way I could have sat back in an office and thought about anything other than where the hell is my brother? What do I need to do? He was struggling with depression and um, crippling anxiety. The constant wondering and worrying has stopped. Of course, it's, it's better that we know, but I do miss that hope. Some people have told me that they thought I would stop NPAN after Dan was found. I feel like this is Dan's legacy. Hello, how are you? Oh, good. When Dan first disappeared here, Lauren was the guiding light. We couldn't find any assistance at all. Didn't know what to do. Must have been about two then, I think, darling. <laughs> Even as a young child, uh, if uh, she could see that something needed to be done, she'd uh, push you to get started with it. Very cute. Can do, can do attitude. Yeah, definitely. She's my hero. We miss him every single moment, every waking moment, you know. Always wondering where he is, what he's up to. This is Tej's room. Uh, like I said, Tej loved his basketball. Kobe Bryant, of course, favorite. That's the T-shirt I found behind one of the sofas I was cleaning yesterday, so it just comes out of nowhere, it still smells of him. That young lady is amazing, so she just includes us, she keeps in touch with us. She's always ready to chat, no matter how busy she is. I actually didn't have to tell her how I felt, she knew. She's done walls for a lot of missing persons and there's a wall outside Victoria Market. There was another campaign at round 19 at the AFL MCG and 1700 LCDs were lit up with uh, Tej's uh, pictures. Every day I'm out of my comfort zone. People think that we're this big organisation. It's me, it's just me. As long as MPAN remains unfunded, it means I'm spending 15 hours a week cleaning apartments. I am Lauren's wife. Uh, we got married two years ago. She is the most generous person I, I know. She is committed. She is determined. I'm supposedly the creative one in the relationship, but she is actually very creative herself. She comes with a couple of ideas every day, and she's like, what do you think about this? 
any time of the day that she gets a phone call or an important email, she will respond immediately. High res photos. The more recent, the better. Hey. My name is Rachel, um, I'm the sister of missing Johnny Govan and he's been missing for five years. Big awareness campaigns. I can have a... We got in contact with Lauren and um, basically asked her for help because we didn't know what to do. About four years ago. Yeah. Um, the last time we saw you Rachel was when it was, it was just yeah, finished. Right. Yeah. It was just finishing it. Okay. It's very surreal looking at the picture and seeing my brother on the wall and have be, it being so realistic. Everyone needs a Lauren. <laughs> okay, Missing Persons Week, ladies. It's creeping up. I met Lauren um, and we sat in my boardroom and we cried. From every coffee he sold. We run on the smell of an oily rag. Lauren hasn't been paid for years. That supported us um, last Missing Persons Week. No one else would do it. If Lauren isn't doing it, then it's not being done. Then there would be families at home feeling hopeless, uh, feeling unsupported. Lauren fills that need. I've always liked a challenge. Um, this is a really big one, but I am committed. I think in life, you know, to find something that you're this passionate about is really, truly a gift. Dan has unintentionally given it to me um, and I will treasure it for the rest of my days.